what is going on guys your boy guns here and i wanted to hop on here real quick and make a recording on um whether i'm gonna be investing in the new infantry or not you know i've been i've been being a good i've been being a good student right just shout out to uh meower for doing that 1v1 testing with uh kwama um granted i know a lot of you guys a lot of you guys can't stand the 1v1 testing right Everyone's like, oh, 1v1s uh, are so stupid. Whoop, whoop, this, that. Um, I know a lot of people are really against it, but I think for the given circumstance, like, yo, of one v, a one, everyone wants to see what happens in a 1v1, right? And if I'm not mistaken, when I was watching that video with um, with Kwama and Meower, like, dude, it was really close. I think at, on some points, Magro and Danfell won. But that spirit bone torque is just freaking insane. And ultimately, as far as the 1v1s go, as soon as someone has like a maxed shield, that's when the real 1v1 test is gonna go. But based off what I based off what I've been seeing, it seems like Mogro Danville are gonna w be winning that 1v1. Right? That's what it seems like right now. Um, like I said, this is just me sharing my my own thoughts, right? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think based off the testings that you have seen. But the main thing that I want to talk about today is of what I'm personally excited for is Danfell. Right? And why am I excited for Danfell? For one, he's a wheel commander. So he's a lot easier to awaken compared to other, uh, to compared to the SLE heroes, right? And uh, shout out to my boy, Fluffy Waffles. I'll put the description. Oh, sorry. I'll put the link to the video um, of what we did here. Uh, was it? Oh, no. It was over here. So we did a little bit of testing, right? The main one that I want to show you guys. Um, so as you can see here, I'll kind of I'll kind of just touch on these real quick. His Magro are triple five one five four two two, and he was using a max uh, Graymore's hammer. So like these testings are kind of man. I know a lot of you guys in the streams were like, "Oh, the new infantry are shit." Like, no, not necessarily, man. These are these are just um, and this is a max Goresh with a triple five one Magro, right? Um, and that's gonna you see the results there. Um, and then like the main one that I, like I said is this one right here guys look at this maddie max maddie danfell sorry max maddie hosk versus max maddie and five four two two danfell and look how it did bruh five four two two danfell be a double awakened heroes maddie hosk is a very very um popular uh tank build amongst people that are running a uh, multiple amount of tanks um and i think it's gonna be huge bro the fact that a, a, a 5422 danfell investment can get it a can get you to replace that hosk and now you can put that hosk elsewhere right to create another another good tank march i think that's huge right and that's the main focus of this video is to show you guys how good madeline and denfell are kind of a little bit more of a free-to-play option right because magro is going to be a lot harder for free-to-play or low spend to obtain um and so you know maddie's in the wheel too so they have some pr they they got some pretty good synergy with the shields right they they're both doing shields like if we go take a look at just their first skill on on what the hell is happening um and like i said if you're interested to see like the actual testing that we did i'll link the i'll link the live the live stream on there um and you kind of skip forward to where the live testing was at um Let's see. I'll put in the description actually which which segment it is. But uh sorry. All right, so the first one, right? Shield factor 1200, right? And then if you go over to Danfell, if we go over Danfell, shield factor 600. So these it's like constant shields happening and um and I was really excited when I saw that. I'm like, "Bro, that's that's pretty cool." Um that's pretty cool that you know maddie danfer are doing that well because that's going to give more value to that madeline investment to uh you know keep being a good choice essentially um sorry i lost train my train of thought okay here um i think we tested it again was it two tests that i did 
It was two tests. So twenty so fifteen of twenty six, right? Lost. And then eighteen to thirty six. I won on this one, right? Against his Maddie, his uh, Maddie Danfield. So ultimately, based on what I've been seeing, guys, what do I think my predictions are? And like I said, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think is gonna be is gonna be the main the main setup. But I still, based off what I've been seeing, I I still think Gorish Skogel are gonna be the kings of the open field. Why? Um, mainly because of the merits, right? We all love our merits, and tanks struggle to get merits, and Gorge Skogel being able to do all the counterattack damage that they do, I still think are going to be um, dominating in the field. So for those of you guys that love the open field and love the merits, that's kind of my prediction right now. Gorge Skogel um, are probably going to get, are still going to be king of merits. Um, and then Dan Fell and Mogro, my predictions are, they're gonna they're gonna be pretty damned good on the garrison however right one of the biggest things about the new infantry is the fact that they don't have good um they don't have good counterattack. they don't they just don't have good counterattack damage um let me show you guys kind of in, in one of these reports that i have with my boy fluffy over here in the beginning when you go to legion buffs right if you see down here, counterattack damage, 4% here, 0%, right? There's 0% counterattack damage um, for that Danfell and Magro are doing. So having, having, I don't know, having that low counterattack damage is rough, dude, right? Because what does that mean? That means even if Magro and Danfell are winning in the 1v1, Right against Gorish Skogel, guess what? Here comes like a double Gorish Skogel rally, and now what? You know what I mean? Now they're getting, now they're get, now they're, now they're taking worse trades. And my, and my prediction than what a Gorish Skogel does and excels at, which is getting swarmed, right? But then again, I think, I think at that point it opens up the discussion of having like a Magro Gorish in, in, uh, in Garrison to be able to see how it does. Um, uh but dude i mean like i said i know a lot of you guys are like oh you know uh all these predictions but it, open field is the main thing or swarming the swarming the marches is the main thing that's what i'm kind of hoping uh to go for is get a video for you guys where there's some actual swarming going on to kind of just compare the two that's gonna that's what i'm aiming for um i'm trying to arrange that with some of the players that have uh that have max freaking uh that have max freaking uh heroes so uh sorry max magro dan fails i'm trying to arrange that um but damn guys it's gonna be exciting watch let me show you another thing too let me show you another thing one of the biggest things too is over here on tournament of champions right over here on tournament of champions if you see the rankings i haven't done my i'm eight, i'm usually like top 40 30 in this crazy kvk with echo and noir um but if you look at the top rankings you'll notice that you'll notice um the new heroes are already making their their you know their presence known, right? Sod is off. He's in second place. Sod is arguably one of the best players in the game as well. Um, so you know, if one of the best players in the game is running, it kind of gives you a clue. Like they're good. The new heroes are good. There's no doubt that they're not good. I think what a lot of people are trying to decide right now that don't that haven't invested yet in a good tank march because I have talked with a few people that are like, all right, guns, I got a good mage, it's good archers, and I think it's finally time for me to invest into my infantry because now I have like a decent amount of infantry. Whoop, whoop, there's that, right? I got good archers, good mages, and I'm trying to look at to which one to invest in. And that's the biggest conversation, right? And as you guys can see, Magro Danfell are playing a Mick Boo, also really good player right a lot of these players up top are, are running the danfills right look at that so three out of the top five players are have some sort of oh this guy this guy was interesting when i fought him the debuffs that magro does 
You get freaking annihilated by them, bro. You get absolutely freaking annihilated by them. Um, here's our boy Fluffy. Fluffy, in my opinion, the best player in the game. Mogro Danfell also in here. He has he's running a triple tank double archer. You know what I mean? You guys see what I'm saying, right? So, you know, I think that I think that they're I think that they're looking pretty solid and the fact that they're looking solid without their max artifact is crazy already, right? So like I said, uh, and I've and I've shared with you guys before in my live streams of what I'm personally going to do. Um, I am on the low spend side right now of things. Like I'm mainly just buying dailies. I'm still deciding on whether I'm uh, going to do wheels. And I think as of right now, I'm like, yeah, I think doing wheels will be cool. So I recently awakened my Madeline. I recently awakened my Madeline. And the main thing and the main reason why I'm going for Denfield, guys, is because of Roots of War. Okay, because some of you guys know I have about 2 million infantry. In the, and during Roots of War, that's mainly what I heal. So whenever we're doing plays for the stone, I'll launch out five tanks at a time. I'll launch out five tanks at a time during Roots of War. And having that Denfield be able to help... Um, help with that it's going to be it's going to be huge right and also getting value from the wheels speed ups freaking g3 tokens stars resources like you name it right the wheel is really good and the fact that dan is going to be um really good for, with my maddie off the start right because my magro is not going to be in a good spot for a while he's only 5-1 and we got mages and archers around the corner so it's really going to come down to like which hero is making the biggest impact right so i'm excited guys i'm excited so yeah i'm gonna be doing the wheels in the uh, dailies for uh good old dan phil here at least that's my plan right now um let me know in the comment section below what you guys think so far and what your guys' plans are. I always I always like when you guys share with me, like, all right, guns, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. And I love discussing on the whys and why nots or shoulds and should nots. So I appreciate you guys that are very active in the chat. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be mainly it for this video, guys. Just wanted to hop on here and give you guys my thoughts so far on what I've been seeing with Danfell and Magro. We got past one opening soon, so we'll be able to see some live open field action with the uh, Matty Danfell low investment. Like I said, I don't foresee there being, like, good merits from it simply because of the slacking counterattack damage, but still interesting to see um, what could happen, right? It's still interesting to see what could happen so and then as we get some builds for you guys right as i'm talking to the tank mains i will share that with you guys also um and as you guys know me i don't normally like to share builds until i know they're battle tested and ready to go right i think it's a it's it's a good shout to like share like okay this is my initial one and then later post like okay this is the good one but to kind of help you help you guys save a little bit of gems on this one um i'll probably wait to post that video so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video guys once again share your share your thoughts with me in the comment section below um i'd love to have a discussion um by the time that you guys see this video, uh, we will be um, we will be streaming the wheel tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can make it out to that live stream. Um, hopefully you guys can make it out to that live stream, and we'll get some little little testings going. With probably gonna get them to like what five one or five two one one or something probably, but. Um, I hope to see you guys there at the live stream tomorrow at Reset. Or so, technically, a lot of us live in Call of Dragons UTC time, right? So later at Reset, <laughs> right? So later at Reset, I'll see you guys for the wheel. Um, it should be fun. Uh, hopefully, we can get some people to join us and kind of have like a little wheel party. I've been trying to start like a little wheel party where people share their screens on Discord. And we all kind of just like vibe and and chill on the live stream. But, you know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. If you enjoyed the video and it's and you guys found it useful based off like my thoughts and what I've been seeing, uh, make sure you drop a like on the video, guys. It goes a long way. If you're enjoying the content and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button, guys. Turn on that bell notification. Let you guys know when I go live or drop a new video. All right, guys. Until next time, guys. It's your boy Guns, and I'm out. Peace.